Welcome to a pretty chill Minecraft sesh, man. I mean, I figure... Sorry for the, uh, scooting. Um, I always wanted to get a Minecraft playthrough going, man. Just a new world. And just see where it goes. Because uh, Minecraft's super easy to play. Super easy to, uh, you know, just uh, enjoy. I, I am of the opinion that Minecraft is the best game ever. I think that even if you are a fan, maybe you're not a fan, uh, either way, I think it's tough to deny that Minecraft is the best game of all time. And it's, it, it's only because of just the sheer accessibility. And it's just like, it's truly limited. There is nothing at all quite like Minecraft. And I love it. I, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I can't... I, I just... I, I can't love Minecraft more than I do. I mean, it's just... Watch this. My experience crashes and hold my break. Ouch. I don't know what any of these are. Um... If if anyone knows, any if it if it matters, you know, just let me know. Um, I have all these texture packs. I don't know. Figured to show them off. We're gonna, as you can see, we're we're gonna go ahead and start a completely new world, just completely new world. Um, and let me tell you something. I'm super excited. Um, this might uh, might take a moment. Because I am using my Xbox Remote Play, and I don't know how happy it's going to be. Though I just put in the Ethernet cable, so it has just been going swimmingly. And that actually is what inspired me to get a little bit of Minecraft going. Alright, let, uh, let me set a 30 minute timer, and we're going to get going. And this is, you're going to be looking back at this on part 168, and you're going to be like, man... This is where it all started. In the middle of a mountain range. Shoot. <laughs> what a shame. Oh, man. Man, I'll tell you, they have beefed up the bonus chest, I feel. Like, it's not like OP or anything, but they have certainly beefed it up. I mean, look at this. Melon seeds? Are you kidding me? Oh, there's cocoa beans. Sorry. Either way, you can get melon seeds out of this, but either way... The fact that pumpkin seeds, you find those, I mean, that's in, that's endless food. They give you saplings. It's uh, pretty good stuff. Um, let's go ahead and uh, break these torches. All right, we're going to go find a nice little place to live. We put it on normal mode, so we're not going to be struggling, but we could be in a bit of a pickle in the first few nights. And things will be a little dangerous for us when it turns nighttime. But I think I think it's a good I think it's a very pure experience. Just just play it on normal, start it on normal, and I think that's how we're gonna keep it. My main objective to begin with is maybe like I don't know, find a village, find a really instead of find a village, I. I really just want to find a nice place where we can just call home because I immediately want to start off like having our place and if there's one thing I really enjoy doing in Minecraft it's finding a nice place that's close-ish to your spawn I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and show off my world that I've been working on later I, I say I've been working on I when Minecraft came out on the Xbox 360, me and my brother Sand got it, and I hated it. I was like, this is the worst game ever. I can't believe you would ever make me play this stupid, hot, flaming garbage. Th this game sucks. I hate it. And that was... Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, Sand, but I believe that was about 2010, uh, maybe 2011. And... Uh, that, that was... Oh, dude. I mean, it was before everything. Before... I mean, we didn't have creative mode, uh, you know, and it's like, 
I don't know if that is a good gauge for you guys to understand how just how long it's been, but I mean it's been like like I was alluding to. It's been I believe this is going on the eleventh year, uh, maybe the tenth of having this this one world of mine. But we're not going to get into it right away. Um, we're just going to I'll show that off much later uh, because I, I do want people to see it because I build it with the idea in mind that people were going to see it, that people were going to come play with me on it, and we didn't have Wi-Fi for years and years and years, so I just, I mean, we used to borrow, quote-unquote, the people next, people like next door or across the street or down the street or whatever, their Wi-Fi, and it was real choppy and bad, but I would still have people come to my world and just experience it, and it's like I'm doing this all for people to see it, and even to this day, when I get on there, I'm, it's the focus that one day people... It's not one day, it's, it's the focus that people are going to be coming here. They're going to be enjoying themselves. They're going to be wanting to build houses. And, you know, I have just all types of crazy stuff that, you know... It's, it, it's just like I try to keep it as if people are going to be living there and I'm going to be like... You know, it's gonna be my world, and they're just living in it. But yeah, I will. I I could talk about that world for literally forever. It's it is my pride and joy, and everything in between those words, man. I mean, I, I just I can't rave enough about that world and how much I love it and how much of an impact it's had on my life. Um, I mean, it's just a Minecraft world. It's not like I wouldn't be the same person without it. But like, it, it's just it's always been there. It's, I believe it's over a gigabyte now, my world size is, just because it's like I've, I've explored so much and I've built so much, and it's crazy. But we're going to put the kibosh on that talk for now. I will go ahead and show off that world maybe around the 10th episode or so, uh, see if this sticks, see if people like it. I'm, I'm probably going to probably gonna keep making the Minecraft videos regardless if people are super into it or not just because I think it'd be a good documentation thing. Uh, just be able to look back at a new world and watch it grow and watch what I just do in little half an hour chunks. And I think, I think that's the fun of it. I think that's the, I think that's gonna be the draw of this series is just, it's just watching, just watching the growth. Just watching what this world's going to become, you know? Because we're standing on this mountain now, but I just feel like later on that some of these mountains might not even be here anymore. We may not even be living on this map. You know, we... Who's, who's to say? Like, and I... Uh, that's what I love. I love that we... It's like time keeps on passing and things keep on happening no matter what. Now, we're still looking for a nice little place to live. Maybe... Maybe we shouldn't be exploring as much places to live as much as just checking out our world, maybe? Just, uh... I don't want to sit here and just walk through mountain ranges, you know? And I think that's um, probably my only gripe with Minecraft is... And it's not even Minecraft as a whole, it's just like something... It seems like they've done something. Uh, sorry for what you're seeing here. I don't know if people are okay with, like... I'm sure there's people out there that are like, oh, I don't kill the animals or whatever because it's like, it's wrong or all that, but I can't tell you how many humans I've slaughtered in video games, so wiping out a sheep for some wool because I need a bed is not a big deal to me. Um, and if, if it is a big deal to you, I'm sorry. What's this? Brown dye. Okay. It looks, uh, the, the texture is different, even though I'm pretty sure I have the classic texture back on. I don't, I don't know if that's like the way classic one, but... Because I never used to play with dyes, and I still don't. But, hmm, kind of neat. Uh, cool that we got a cocoa seed, though. But, like I was saying, I have no issue killing the animals. They are a resource, you know, I need them. Uh, I'm not going to go around and senselessly just go ham on every mob I see, because I don't need to. You know, it's, it's just something that's not exactly necessary. And I know you can put your map in your left hand. I just don't like doing that. I think it's... I think it's a great quality of life thing that they added to the game, and I would I love that they did it. But personally, I'm just going to go ahead and not utilize it. And I, I hope that's okay with you guys. 
And if it's not, I'm probably going to bother you with a whole lot more than just what my map does with how I play. Because, um, I don't want to say I'm like, I'm not like a boomer when it comes to Minecraft, but I do sort of stick to the ways that I have played it and play it, you know, like I mess with the new features and everything, but, you know, uh, I just, I, you'll see. You'll just see how I play. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I don't know if I do play Minecraft wrong, um, but that's what we got. I actually need to remember that this honeycomb, this uh, beehive's here because there's an achievement. And I try to keep up with all the achievements on Minecraft. I always try to keep up with the achievements on Minecraft. Um, when they added new ones, I mean, it, like I said, when I first started playing Minecraft, I believe there was like uh, 10, maybe 15 achievements, and they were the ones that were just hardwired in. And, um, you know, like, open your inventory and whatnot, which is always a good time, but... I try to keep up with them, and they're, they're, uh, they, they're getting a little complicated, you know, and I appreciate that. Like, there have been some tough ones. It's like it's made me flex my brain a little bit. And, yeah, uh, the beehive ones are ones that I haven't messed with a whole lot. Because uh, it's, you know, I've tried, but you got to wait for them to have, like, bees in them and everything. And, you know, I tried. I failed a little bit. That's, um, I actually have an idea. This is how I like to start. Oh my. This is how I usually like to start Minecraft, is I like to... I don't build new... I don't start new worlds very often, but I am familiar with, you know, what I like to do when I first start. I think, uh, especially because we got a wood pickaxe, I think we're going to go ahead and just grab some stone. This is what I like to do. I know I said this is what I like to do like a hundred times, but this is what I like to do. Um, we just... we've had a pretty healthy start. I like to... You know, just grab some stone, maybe get enough for a furnace, maybe a stone sword, maybe, well, in this case, I guess we're going to be ma I'm getting enough to make an axe. And as you've seen, we've already found some coal. And if coal's not plentiful, I will just make charcoal. I have, I'm not above it. I think charcoal is one of the most efficient things in Minecraft, especially in almost, almost always, you know, early game early game charcoal is great. Also, can you believe we found iron already? That is a feels good. That sort of makes me want to skip the step between... Okay, come on. I'm just not used to how slow wood pickaxes are, man. I'm telling you, I don't use them very often. Um, but I feel like I should sort of skip the step of making stone, but actually I have to make a stone pickaxe anyways to mine that stuff. So, But would you look at that? Even more? Wow, we are just Man, we are looking good. All this uh, coal, and we have a bunch of iron. I think um, I think I'm happy with how this is turning out. And I think we, since we have that three rule, and I don't know if you can tell, but it's getting dark outside. So I think we might actually end up sleeping in here, and this might be our little shelter. And it's gonna be funny because I'm gonna put up like a sign or something. I guarantee it. That says, you know, like, our first shelter or whatever, and it, it's going to be gonna be a good time. And we're going to come back and look back upon it and be like, wow, because I'm, I'm sorry I'm talking about it again, but I just, I never get to talk about it, so I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to be talking about it a little bit. Uh, my world. Uh, I call it, I named it Survival, and that's all there is to it, because it is just a survival world, it's always been survival. I refuse to make it not survival. It's just, it has been amazing. And I, that's actually kind of silly. I don't remember what I was talking about um, on that. Uh, come on, survival, I was talking about. Yeah, gosh, that really sucks. I didn't want to like leave you guys in a cliffhanger there. Hmm, well, regardless. Oh my gosh, yes, okay. So on my first, like, couple nights, dude, it's brutal. When you first start and you have no idea what you're doing, when you were just a fresh baby Minecraft player, man, I I was like, what do I do? I was down to, I, nighttime rolled around, and I was like, man, I am just getting destroyed out here. I'm having a hard time surviving, and 
I found this cactus out in this desert. I'll show you guys all of this. Don't worry. When I first go into my world, it is going to be some big sightseeing tour. It's going to be crazy. I don't know when I'll do that. It's going to be sometime. Don't worry. But, yeah, we're going to do that. I'm going to show off that world, and I hope everyone is looking forward to it. And I know it might be a little tough to be, like, you know, looking forward to a world, a Minecraft world, you know, that I'm just talking about, you know. I know I'm not giving much context of what I've done in there or anything, but it's just... I can't stress enough that I've put my life, my blood, my sweat and tears, I mean all of it, into that world and I just, oh, I love it. I'm, I'm really excited to share it with, share it with the world, so to speak. Let's uh, go ahead and, how much stone do we have? 17? Okay. Yeah, uh, we're going to sit here and wait for this to cook. Well, yeah, my world, pretty insane. And I love it, but I'm happy to be here and I'm happy to start this. Really looking forward to it. I think Minecraft is best. Uh, was not the best seed, um, but it's still still fine. I mean, it's treating us fine. There's a little plains next to the mountains or whatever. And if you know anything about Minecraft, you know that um, coal cooks eight blocks, and then sticks it takes two sticks to melt or smelt. My bad. Um, two. So, it takes two sticks to smelt one block, so we're going to put a piece of coal in there, put two sticks, we'll have ten iron, and you know what, ten iron, that's pretty crazy. Let's, uh, let's actually get to, uh, chopping this up a little bit. I don't like to waste my tools, um, and I really don't like, it's like you saw, I kept mining until that wooden one broke. It's because I just, you know, I like to make sure that we're getting, we're utilizing it properly, our materials properly, and it's like if I were to throw away this stone pickaxe, well, then we'd come upon a shortage of cobblestone, and I would have to use my my iron pickaxe on... I'd have to use my iron pickaxe on cobblestone. Disgusting. And... Yeah, so I'm just probably going to mine this up until it breaks, and we're going to make a nice little shelter here. I don't know if we'll just work through the night, or maybe we'll get a bed going. I'm not sure. You know, I really think we should get a bed going. That way we can set our spawn point, and it could be down here. Just in case good things get hairy and we do die, which I'm going to try my best not to die. Ew, I don't want a white bed. Ugh, okay. Um, I know, I know I was just talking about us dying and how it's dark out there and how there are monsters out there and we need to, you know, we need to be careful and I didn't want to die, but I don't want a white bed. So... We're going to go look for some flowers to see if we can make some dyes. How many ladders does this give you? Is it, uh... Let me see. Let me see, let me see. Three ladders per? I'll take it. Sweet. Yeah, but... I saw a little message pop up. I don't know why I did that. Maybe my controller's a little low. Um, connecting to Ethernet has just made a world of difference, though. I wouldn't have ever been able to do this if it weren't for the me connecting my Xbox to Ethernet in the other room. It's, uh, it's providing really good results, and I can't believe I didn't do it sooner. Uh, nice. Six was enough. Okay, so, I don't want a red bed either, even though it's classic as heck. I'm actually on the hunt for a blue bed. How about that? A blue bed. Oh, we, oh, we, uh, we actually are rather hungry. And if I'm not mistaken, these give you blue dye. And if not, I'm silly. I just, I don't know. I'm the type of Minecrafter that just remembers... I'm just the type of Minecrafter that remembers when there was only a yellow flower and a red flower. And I believe it was yellow... I believe it was rose and dandelion. Oh, no. I lost our hole! Oh, that was quick. Let's, uh, let's retrace our steps real fast. Hello, spider. For some reason, you're not hostile. I very much appreciate it. We are, we are going to go ahead and find our hole. It just might take a second. I'm going to need to, like, uh... Come on. There we go. Let him blow that up. Oh, it was by some water, wasn't it? See, this area right here is really... It's, it's been standing out. To, there it is. I knew there'd be a little light shining through. Uh, let me actually put these flowers around... There we go, that way we don't forget again, even though we will. I'll put a little pillar there. And then uh, eventually a sign, of course. 
kind of weird. We still got a little bit of heat left in there. Uh, I guess it. Uh, I guess it stays now. Maybe. Maybe that's a little glitch. I don't know. Let me uh, actually. Let's just drop a stone in there and see if it's. Just, oh. I plugged in my Xbox controller. Now it's being a little funky. Nope. Just glitch. Uh, just a little visual, visual, visual bug maybe. And let's make ourselves some blue dye. Very nice. Cool. Now we can make our wool blue. And you know what that means? Blue bed. Blue bed. Right. No bed. No bed. Alright. May not rest now, there are monsters nearby. Okay. I mean, I figured it would give us that message, but it didn't say spawn point set, so I'm getting a little. Getting a little worried. Oh, we don't have enough for uh, we don't have enough for a pickaxe. A little, a bit of a blunder on my part. My part. Um. Also, also. Oh my gosh, I meant to know. I meant. Oh my gosh, I meant to mention this. If there's no sound for you guys, I apologize. I tried to get it working and I couldn't figure it out. Um. But by the next episode, there will be music. There will be sounds. There will be everything. I'm gonna figure it out. Um. But. Either way, this is just our little pilot episode. I, uh, thank you for hanging in there with me. Um, but I am super excited for this playthrough to get started. Um, it's a super good time. I love Minecraft. Okay, oh, okay. So we had enough iron. We just didn't have enough stick. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna unplug this. It's being a little, being a little fidgety, and I don't like it. Stick, and then we're going to go ahead and make us a pickaxe. Luckily for us, bonus chest. I always play with bonus chest on. It doesn't feel cheesy to me or anything. It's just a nice little, nice little boost. And I've just always done it. So we got a little bit of food here. We're gonna turn that bread. Actually, we can't turn bread into anything. So we're gonna get a little farm going probably. I like to clear out my whole inventory. That way, I can just get a clear headspace of how I want to build it up and everything. We're gonna keep this map with us for just a little while. Acacia. I don't use a. I don't know. To, I don't mess a whole lot with acacia, but we will. We will. Let's make some. Uh, make some torches real quick. I know today's episode hasn't been super eventful, but I am gonna try to. Ooh, block of coal. I'm gonna try to do a little something fun before we uh, wrap it up here in about ten minutes. Maybe I won't do anything cool. We'll see. Either way. I'm going to try to unapologetically just enjoy myself, play Minecraft, do do things at my own pace. and you know, I, ho I hope you guys are uh, excited, as excited as I am. Uh, nice little campfire there. Let's go ahead and go hunt for some food. We need some food, man. This is going to be... Uh, before we leave, I'm actually gonna do the whole pillar thing because we might be we might be out and about for a little while. Give me that dirt, more what's that? Granite. Okay. I knew they looked a little different. I was like, why? Why? Uh, why were they not stacked? You know. There we go. Gonna put a little pillar right here. Okay, that didn't hurt as bad as I thought it was going to. I just, I feel like, since I'm playing on a small screen, that I'm having trouble, like, gauging, like, I, I had trouble, like, gauging my fall there. Free dirt, though. Come on, Creeper. Thank you for that. I always like to let Creepers blow up. Um, just because I don't feel like messing with them. Is that some sugar cane on the horizon? Holy cow. Um, I, if you know anything about me, you know I'm a big sugar cane fan, fan and we are going to be making... Quite a bit of a, well, quite a large sugarcane farm eventually. But for the time being, let's go ahead and just, uh, boom, boom, boom. We'll come back and hopefully get nine sugarcane out of that. Lots of chickens going on. A lot of, a lot of chicken action. Let's uh, go ahead and take him out. We can make some uh, carrots with him, too. Not carrots. What was I going to say? Why the heck? Oh, we can make some arrows with him. With his uh, feathers that he drops, if he drops any. Also, I wanted to say again, I'm sorry if uh, the air conditioning, I, I had to have it on, man. I was recording, I recorded a few episodes, man, of uh, other stuff, and 
Oh no, we're getting hurt, we're getting hurt, we're getting hurt, we're starving. Give me just a second. Um, I will not ever have it going again in another episode. I refuse. I will not have it going in another episode. But this time, it was just, man, it was like 73 in here. I was getting pretty toasty, so. I figured, hey, you know, this is our pilot episode of Minecraft. That's a village over there. Heck yeah, I wanted to do something kind of exciting, and that is what we're going to do. We're going to check out that village before today's episode is over. So yeah, I appreciate you guys sticking with me through the, the pilot episode being maybe a little, um, maybe not sloppy, maybe just a little bit not, uh, not, uh, touched up, you know, a little rough around the edges at first, but hey, this is our first night. We are killing it out here. I'm looking forward to this adventure, and it's really good. Let me see if we can see our pillar. We can't, but it's, you know it's right over that tree line there. So it's good to know that we got a village, and it's right next to our house, so hopefully there will be a lot of trades we can do. Maybe I'll be able to find a one of those little raids that we could do. That'd be exciting. Uh, regardless, hello my friend. What do you got to trade? Nothing, okay. Oh, because he needs to be assigned and he's not, okay. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm a bit of a, a bit of an old school Minecraft player. You know, I know what I'm doing. I know what a lot of this stuff is, but, you know, a lot of, a lot of like new mechanics or new er mechanics. Maybe I'm not as uh, brushed up on them. Like the little, uh, little blocks that makes the villagers do stuff. I'm like, okay. Oh, actually, that thing, I believe, just turned him into a little farmer villager. That's cool. Or maybe that was a different one. Yeah, it is. The composter or whatever. Which, eh, I don't know. I don't think it's a ton of value. I don't think it is a ton of value. The little compost thing. But if we have a lot of extra crops or some seeds like this, I'll we'll just, uh... Drop some seed action in there. We'll get some uh, bone meal. Nice. Is it only one? Yeah. See, that's so I feel like it's not crazy value, but you know, it's like you know, I have those seeds. Why not? Uh, don't tell anyone. But I'm gonna go ahead and break these bookshelves. Books are very valuable, and it's crazy when you can just find some out in the wild. Uh, the village being the wild, apparently. So I'm definitely going to swipe up any bookcases I can find. And before Mossy Cobblestone became common in the fact that you can actually build it now, uh, it used to be one of my favorite blocks ever. Definitely. One of my favorite blocks ever. Uh, just because it's cool and it was rare and it was, you, couldn't, you could only find it in the dungeons, like the monster spawner areas. Very cool. Uh, but now, I love it, but... It's just become more accessible, so I'm like, well, you know, I... Uh, you know, I still love it. It's great. That's a great trade right there. That's a great trade. That's why we're uh, going to be getting a ton of uh, uh, sugar cane. Because it's just really good value when you can just get a bunch of emeralds. Let's go on through here. Let's find this little chest. Sweet. Oh, my bad. And we found a, we found a compass, which... I don't know how many of you are big Compass fans. I know I wasn't a big Compass guy for the longest time. Uh, but the sheer fact that it points you back to your spawn location, man. And, we, and if I live, and I usually do live near my spawn locations in my worlds, I'm like, hey, if I'm thousands of blocks away, like, if I'm exploring, like, just, like, six whole entire maps away... If we had that fish, I'd go ahead and try to tame that guy, but we don't, and it's okay. That little iron golem over there. Yeah. Um, yeah, but it'll point you right back, right back to your uh, location, and I'm telling you, if I'm, like, in position, you know, like, 12,000, I'm all the way out there, man. The compass will save your life. Period. The compass will save your life. Okay, whoops. Come on. I feel like my sensitivity might be just a little too low. Maybe that's why I uh, missed that door. I don't know what these guys are doing congregating here, but it definitely gives me an opportunity to check out. Is that fish in a bucket for three? Bucket of cod. Very funny. For three emeralds, I think that's worth it. Let me get some of this beetroot going on. Um, 
Uh, we can make soup out of that. I think beetroot is just not, just not great. I think it's a, a fine addition or whatever, but I'm probably gonna avoid it. I might make, I might make a tiny farm out of it, but don't expect too much beetroot going on. Can't, can't hurt to have some though. Can't hurt to have some. Uh, hello. I need you to move, please. He has a pretty good trade offer though that I'm probably gonna take. Got some, uh, I believe, 30 wheat for an emerald. Let's see. 20! Oh, even better. Scored our first emerald. Nice. Let's actually clip that. Don't actually clip that. Nothing cool happened. Get some of that sugarcane going on. More sugarcane over there. I have to keep a mental note about that when we're done exploring. Wow, this is a neat little house. I don't think I've ever seen one of these. Anything cool in here? No? Okay. Very nice. What's it look like? How about that? I've got a song from one of our next playthroughs. I don't know when. I have no idea when I'll be posting this video. But I got a little song of one of our next playthroughs in my head right now. And it's it's a banger. And I'm really looking forward to that playthrough. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a doozy. It's gonna be a doozy. I'm telling you right now. It's gonna be gonna be a long one. Gonna be a powerful one. Gonna be one that I might struggle a little bit with. Uh, not 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 because it's hard. Well, it, it, it can get difficult. Don't get me wrong. But there's just there's a lot to it. I'm gonna need to really focus up. And it's gonna be great. I don't know why there wasn't a chest in that one. Weird. There's been a sort of a lack of chests going on in this village. Is that the same house? It went all the way back. No chest. That's okay. Uh, that's a drowned. Oh god. Oh god. I hope everyone's rolling. Oh, go inside. Go inside. Get inside. Get inside. Everyone, get inside. Oh, he's holding a shell. Get inside. I'll protect. <laughs> I'll protect you all. Just stay inside. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Got it. That's the only reason I killed him is because I wanted that little Nautilus shell. Um. Oh! You know what time it is. It is actually time to end the first episode of Minecraft. I can't believe we are playing Minecraft on the channel. Uh, I hope everyone watching is a huge fan of Minecraft. If not, that's going to have to change. And... Yeah, I think this is a good place to stop. I will see you guys on part two. I hope you enjoyed this one. Like I said, this one was a little sloppy. No music. Um, no music for me. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Um, the AC also is going. I apologize once again for that. But I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in episode two. I'll see you next time.